she's enjoyed here. And as we have done uh, a lot on this trip, if you have questions about this matter, you should call Mr. Kennedy at the White House Legal Counsel's office. Are you telling me you're not going to tell us the President's reaction to the news from the court? The President's reaction. I can tell you the President got a message to call Mr. Bennett, his lawyer, which he did. Uh, I called him a little bit after 9 o'clock. The President uh, got the news from Mr. Bennett. Uh, he asked if it was, in fact, an April Fool's joke that Mr. Bennett was playing on him and assured that it was not. Uh, the President mis thanked Mr. Bennett for his fine work, uh, said he appreciated everything that the attorneys had done in this case, and obviously the President was pleased uh, that the judge agreed with the very detailed arguments that the President's attorneys have put forward in this case, and I think he believes that the Court's ruling uh, speaks more eloquently than he could on the matter. But he must be relieved by this, don't you think? The president was pleased to hear the news. So many other people were brought into this president was pleased to hear the news. There will be a lot said by many people on this. I've just told you what the president has to say. Is Clinton handling this right now? Uh, the president shared the news with the first lady after he got it from Mr. Bennett, and I think both of them were pleased to get the news. And uh, at the moment, they're doing some shopping. I'm not going to speculate on that. I have no basis of information to speculate on that. I'm not going to speculate on politics or anything else. We've uh, done a lot of very hard work on Africa and the importance of building a new partnership with Africa on this trip. The President has been focused on that and focused on that to the exclusion of other issues, and I think he's going to remain uh, interested in building and a partnership with the countries that we've been here, continuing to build a relationship that's going to matter a lot more to the American people in the long run as we think ahead of the 21st century of what kind of country uh, we want to live in and what kind of country we want to uh, share our own work with. And that's the purpose of that trip. I think the President is uh, pleased to receive the vindication he's been waiting a long time for. Mike, Mike, how surprised, how surprised was the President? I don't, I don't know if I would characterize him as being surprised. I mean, there's been speculation that uh, the judge would have some ruling on that motion. I, I don't think it was entirely expected, but it was welcome nonetheless. Mike, did the first family call Chelsea in California? Uh, not at this point, and I don't know whether they plan to or not. I think they plan to get some dinner. What was the president doing when he got this dinner? He was on the telephone with Mr. Bennett. Right before that, he was walking down the hallway to get on the phone with Mr. Bennett. Yes. Yeah. Legal bills in this case. We've reported what we have on that at previous occasions. Anything else? Let's go to dinner. Yes. Mike, will the president address this himself at any point? I don't anticipate him doing that. He's got a lot of work to do tomorrow uh, to wrap up this trip, and uh, he will stay focused on the work of this trip. Mike, yeah. A decision of this magnitude has been, been long awaited for and is the President's glad to get. I mean, I don't know how it's going to affect the work we do. The President would have done the work that he's going to do regardless of what this decision was. Yeah. We have, you know, no way of knowing that. We've heard some of what uh, the attorneys on the other side have said, but we have no way of predicting it. Yeah. I mean, he has always about three times already I've said he's felt vindicated. Pleased to receive the vindication that he's long awaited for. No. <clears throat> Not unless you all have a lot of questions on Africa and the partnership we're building with Africa as we think ahead of this very important relationship the President has worked hard on in the last couple of days. Three years of the public friends. Okay. Hey, this has been a fact of life, and no doubt other matters will remain a fact of life for him. And uh, he has done a very good job of staying very focused on the work that he believes the American people expect him to do. That's what he's doing on this trip. That's what he's doing when he will get home. And I think the President has shown 
extraordinary discipline and not letting these other issues uh, distract him from the work that he was elected twice by the American people to do. Scott. Mike, the, judge's, the judge's ruling says that if the allegations are true, they do not amount to sexual harassment. Could you state again for the record whether the Maybe president that says that, these al that Mrs. Yeah, Jones' allegations have merit or not? That question relates directly to the arguments that Mr. Bennett filed in numerous briefs before the court, and you can find the answer in the very eloquent pleadings that he filed. Yes, sir. I think the major high points of this trip for Africa have been uh, the sense of a new spirit of partnership in which the American people will engage with the people of Africa as we uh, build a common destiny. And I think most Americans will not lose sight of the fact that irrespective of what the news is back home, and this president has worked hard to advance the economic interests of the American people and doing so in a way that will help the people of Africa realize their potential. It's an extraordinary place. The president has been very struck by the energy and enthusiasm of the people and leaders of Africa. And I think he wants to build on that now as we build a new partnership with Africa. Has the President Mike said anything about tactics that the Paula Jones lawyers used in the President last few weeks? The President has said what I've reported to you, and that's about the last question I'm going to take, Mr. Pelley. Mike, uh, for the record, does the President deny Ms. Jones' 